second video of a how to build a suction hand dredge. Here's the parts list. Got a half inch pipe at 28 inches, a two inch pipe at 30 inches, two pieces of end caps at two inches, three pieces of end caps at a half inch, one piece of a T, well, one T at a half inch. I have an old toilet water valve and an old hose. Also, we have a two inch plug. I totally put out of pocket eight bucks on this because I had a lot of these pieces laying around the garage here and show you how we put it together here. All right, so I took my plug here, pulled it apart, took this washer off, laid it on top of here, scribed it around, took my grinder with sandpaper, grinded it fully off so it's smaller than the plug itself. I took a half inch end cap, made a hole that's the size of this nut here. Well, not nut, but bolt, okay? Went ahead and put it in there so it's sticking out and secured the plug to it. I glued that to a half inch 28 inch piece of half inch PVC. I took a two inch end cap, put it on here, scribed that, took my hole, made a hole look like this. Done the same thing with this one for this here. And so we take that off, all right, that goes in here like so, or hold on a minute, I might go the other way, be a little bit easier this way, I'm trying to do this all one handed, <laughs> so funny, I'd like to see all the comments you guys give me. Okay, so we secure it down. All right, and this is just an old toilet valve that goes underneath the toilet for the water line. Tighten it up pretty good. All right. All right. Take the 2-inch, 30-inch pipe, put it on there. All right. 30 inches take this one actually put it in here All right put that on there doing everything one-handed I took a coupler also and cut it in half and glued it to where once it goes down it stops so it didn't blow out the end down here. Okay, so you take your T, you glue your T to the end right here. Take a couple more half half inch pieces of pipe. Okay. Take your end caps. Put them on there. I am going to do a video showing how it works. I took the end of a uh, the toilet valve, right? Just stuck a hose in there and it's really tight in there. So I don't need to glue it or anything. 
What I can do also is I can get, because this is a three quarter inch uh, hole for the for the toilet valve. And I will do a video of how it all works and everything. But you can see for a bunch of laying around parts, it's gonna be a good little hand dredge. Now on the on this right here, you know, you could adjust it to how tight and how big you want it in there. Tighter you go, more compression you'll have. So there you go. Like and share my video. Thanks. Bye.